Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pattern called Nine Sisters. Now it's called Nine Sisters because there's nine of these big star motifs in it. Now I'm going to use a jelly roll that my husband Matt cut. This is called Inspired by Nature. They're all batiks and they're earth tone batiks. So I've picked out a nice background. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this pattern, it's from Cozy Quilt Designs. And I love their patterns because they're very clear and they come with multiple sizes. So today I'm going to make the throw size. So we can read right down here. We need 33 strips, which is great because I've got 40 in my package here. Then we need three and two thirds yards of the background. And of course we will add some borders and some binding at the end. The first thing I'm going to do is open up the package of strips and make sure that they will all look good against the background. We do need to have a little bit of contrast between the strips and the background. So it looks like almost all of these will work well. There may be a couple light ones. I probably won't use that and I probably won't use that. So I'm going to pick out 33 that I like. Now all of these strips are going to get split in half. So I'm just going to cut right along the fold. Now some of these strips are going to be left whole and some are going to get subcut. Now since it's not my pattern, I can't give you all the exact sizes for the subcuts, but cozy quilt patterns are always really easy to follow. Now we need some background pieces. So I'm going to cut the strips and then I'm going to do all the subcutting. I do like to use a hand weight. I've got a five pound dumbbell when I make these long cuts because it really helps hold my plastic ruler in place so it doesn't slide. Then I know my cuts are gonna be nice and accurate. Everything is cut out and we're ready to start stitching. The first thing we're going to make is a strip tube. So we're gonna use one of these guys and one of these guys. To make a strip tube, I've got two strips here and I'm going to sew down one side and back up the other. So they're lined up very carefully, right sides together, and just stitch down quarter inch from the edge all the way down. So here's why it's called a strip tube. It actually makes a round tube of fabric there. Now we need to make another strip tube. For that one, we're going to use two of these strips. Let's take these two colors here and one of these. We're going to stitch these two together just on one side. So just go down the first side here. Now I'm going to finger press this seam to one side. So the easiest way is to open this up. I'm going to press it that way. I'm holding it open and I'm just drawing my fingernail or the pad of my finger right down that seam. Now we can put this on our other piece, right sides together. You really don't even need to iron them if you finger press there. And they are both now exactly the same width. And we're going to go down both sides. We're going to stitch down this side and back up the other. Just flip it around down this side. Now that we have both kind of strip tubes stitched together, we're ready to cut these again. So I've got colored thread on here so you can see a little better. And I'm going to use a ruler called the strip tube ruler. Now the pattern will give you directions for cutting if you don't have one of these, but it does make it quite a bit easier. The reason I used colored thread is because we're going to put a line from this ruler on the stitching line, not on the cut line, on the stitching line, and then we're going to cut on both sides here. Now turn your ruler around Put your line again on the stitching line and make another cut.
and then just keep flipping it around and keep making cuts. Now, you're gonna have to make fresh cuts sometimes. So this one, I can't get it all the way over there. I'm gonna have to cut both ways. So I'll go here and then here. Now from our bigger strip tube unit, we're gonna do the same thing, but of course it's a different measurement. But you still put the ruler line on the stitching line, cut your triangle, and then flip around and get another one and cut all the way down the strip tube. Now here's a tip for when you're cutting a lot of the same measurement. You wanna make sure that you use that same line over and over. So you can take some masking tape or some painter's tape and you can tape that right onto your template, right on there. And it'll come off right afterwards without leaving a residue, but that way you won't have to keep looking and making sure you're on the same line every time. We want to iron these nice and flat now. So put the light fabric down, peel open the dark. I'm trying to make sure that that seam stays straight and use a dry iron and then a little steam. Now, for your bigger squares, it's the same thing. Put the light fabric down, peel that open, just press with your fingers a little bit, dry, then a little steam, and the last step is to snip off these dog ears. Now we're gonna take our squares from our small strip tube and our two small subcuts and make a square. These squares are pretty easy to make. We need two of these, point the dark corners towards the middle. We need one colored square and one background square. Whoops, I've got two. So I'm just going to put these right sides together, stitch all the way down here. So I'm just gonna slide it over, line everything up, I'm not going to snip the thread. I'm just going to leave that there. Now I'm going to take the top one here and I'm going to put the seam towards the light. I'm going to put this seam towards that plain square there. So I'm pressing the seams away from the half square triangles. Now I'm going to just put that right sides together there. You'll see those seams will nest and that bottom seam allowance is going down, which is easier. It's less likely to flip up as you're sewing. And we'll sew this. It's real easy to match that intersection in the middle. Once those are done, we're ready to lay out the blocks. We have all the pieces we need for the blocks. Now there's two blocks. The first one takes two of these big squares from the strip tubes and two of these pieced guys. The second block, it's very similar. It still takes two of these guys, but it only takes one of these and then one plain square. So there's both the blocks. They're very easy to stitch together. And it's, there's only one place to match, one intersection, it's right in the middle. And it's pretty easy to get it matched because some of the pieces are biased, so you can get them in place really easy. Now, because they're biased, you want to be kind of careful when you finger press your seams that you don't stretch anything out of shape. So I'm going to go ahead and make all the rest of both of these blocks. Then we'll be ready to lay the quilt out. I've got all the blocks stitched up and ironed. Now, they're a little bit hard to iron, so stick with it. Don't stretch too much. Just keep it nice and flat without pulling. To lay this out, I'm using exactly the same size as what's on the picture of the cover, and that makes it a little bit easier to lay these out. So I'm gonna start with this guy in the corner, and then two blocks like this. We're already starting to see a star pop out here. Then we've got these blocks that are like the half blocks, because they don't have the patchwork there. These are going to go like that. Then we're going to have some of these non-patchwork blocks. So we've got a row of these. And I'm just going to keep building till I get the whole quilt laid out. 
Now we've got this layout that's on the front of the pattern all over the table here. It's a lot of fun to lay the blocks out and I didn't worry about what fabric ended up where, which print ended up next to which. But you can trade your blocks around now if you feel like there's too much of one color in one spot. But honestly, with a jelly roll, there's so many prints, it just kind of comes out random like this. So all I have to do now is sew all the rows and then sew the rows together, put a border on, and then I can get it onto the quilting machine. Now that the quilt is on the machine, we need to pick a thread color. I don't want a thread that will show up very much. Any of these colors will blend pretty well. The green will show a little bit. This kind of oatmeal colored one, that's gonna blend in real well. The gold doesn't so, show very much. I really think I like the gold the best because it's kind of warm and the patchwork just feels warm to me. So I think I'll go with the gold. The quilting pattern I've chosen is called Calm Waters. I use this on batiks. It has a very watery feel to it, which seems to go well with all the batiks. So this is just going to repeat all the way across the quilt. got the quilt all done. Now you can see those nine stars in the middle really well. Because I've got a lot of contrast between my fabrics and my background, the stars really show up. This was just a lot of fun to make. I like the quilting pattern, that calm waters, it doesn't fight with anything. Now one thing to remember, some quilting patterns when you use them, they make the quilt shrink up and this one shrunk up a little more this way than that way. So keep that in mind if you're making a quilt to a particular size. You need to allow for some shrinkage during the quilting process. I used a solid back and when you use a solid like this, you can really see those quilting lines now. Thanks for watching our tutorial today on how to make the Nine Sisters quilt. I hope you enjoyed it. Now we're gonna have another giveaway. You may have seen our video where we made this chain, chain, chain pattern. And this is a great big quilt. Now today you can win it. So what I want you to do is go to the link below that says giveaway and put in your name and your email address and we can send this to a winner anywhere in the world. So enter and good luck. Now if you like our videos and you want to support us, the best thing you can do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. That would really help us out. Happy quilting!